Hello, my love. I wanted to share with you a message that came to me during my morning meditation. The most powerful words that came through are muscle memory. What is that and what does it mean for you, for me, for us right now? So muscle memory is our reaction to things that have happened to us in the past and we react to them in the present. Why I feel that this is so important and why this is coming through now is because at this time, we have Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn moving through the sign of Capricorn. And basically what this has been working to do is to break down the foundations of our world that we know it in our intimate lives that have been set and ingrained in us from childhood and then beyond. So this is, could be very generational. As we are breaking down these foundations, these old ways of life, these old things, these memories are coming through. And just because we are entering into a new state of being, a new relationship, a new career, a new house, a new home, a new country, a new lifestyle. The memories of the past, of our past lives or our past experiences are still there. So muscle memory is our physical body, emotional body, spiritual body reacting to a stimulus, something that, that is happening in the present moment. What we want to be very mindful of is as we are letting go of the past and as we're letting go of our past experiences, we're not allowing them to shape and to control our present and our future. There is a distinction that is coming through during my meditation, during this meditation's message. There's a distinction that needs to be made that wants to be clarified. This means that your first reaction to something your habitual reaction to something does not make it accurate, does not make it truth. It's just a reaction. Spirit is guiding us to understand the, the truth of muscle memory, that our reaction to something, our first instinctual reaction to something is not truth. It's just a simple mere reaction to what's happening in our lives based upon what has already happened. Spirit is guiding you and guiding us right now to at least observe the fact that that is our first reaction, but our reaction does not make it truth. And as we are rebuilding our foundation and as we are rebuilding new relationships and rebuilding a new life for ourselves, we wanna make sure that we are not repeating these past patterns based upon the things that have happened to us before. So for example, let's say you, you've been hurt before, physically attacked, so maybe that's a part of your experience, maybe that's a part of your reality in the past, but now as an adult, you're no longer getting physically hit, physically touched, attacked in, some, in any way. So when someone moves and you flinch really quickly, that's your muscle memory is to flinch because you think that someone's gonna hurt you, when in reality, that is not that could not actually be the truth. You might actually have done all the work and you might have a circle around you that is very loving, very affectionate, and touch is not something that is giving punishment, but it's giving pleasure. So it wants to give you a hug, it wants to support you, it wants to give you a pat on the back, or a kiss on the cheek, or whatever the case is. Things that you actually do want to receive, but your muscle, your muscle memory reacts in initially because you remember punishment, and physical touch is not equated, doesn't go hand in hand with something that feels good for you. Because of this muscle memory, Spirit is guiding you right now to to, to realize that you have actually created a lot of groundbreaking movement and momentum for yourself. Be open to this new life that you've created. Be open in, to considering the fact that your first initial reaction to something isn't actual the truth of it, it's just the muscle memory of it. It's just, you know, you're breaking a cycle and you're continuing to break a cycle, but not only that, but you're building a new cycle, you're building a new life for yourself. How we can choose and how we accidentally end up choosing punishment is, for example, let's say you are so used to being hit on and beat on, so in an act of self-love, later on in your life, you are booking massages for yourself because you are realizing healthy boundaries and healthy self-care and massages are something that help you to feel good, they help you to relax. But you find yourself continuing to choose things that are aggressive to the body. For example, a deep tissue massage instead of something that is relaxing and nurturing and supportive. So your mind thinks that you are doing something that is self-care but you're actually still beating up the body in a way that has been normal for you so with muscle memory you guys with this message that's coming through this week we want to be very cautious and aware of this new cycle that we are creating in our lives after we have had this these groundbreaking revelations and moments and truth spirit is guiding you to not take the first initial reaction the first initial response as truth and as 
a recipe or the building blocks for what you are now creating in your life. Spirit wants you to observe your first reaction because that's all that it is. It's muscle memory. It's a first reaction to something, some things, someone, whatever. These past experiences that are creating and only shaping your reaction. They don't shape your future. It's your, you call the shots on your future. You are the one who decides who and what comes into your life now. If it's harsh towards you, if it's a blockage towards you, if it's a challenge towards you, you have the power to accept it or to reject it, to create boundaries or to you know allow it to come in as it proves itself over time. But spirit is guiding you today to be very aware of the first initial reaction and the first initial re response doesn't necessarily have to be the building block for this new relationship in your life, for this new experience, this new job, this new house. Be very cautious and aware and observant without expressing any judgment towards yourself or to others, the first reaction that you have. Give yourself the, the power to choose, is this a building block that I wanna work with in order to create something that I, is that I actually want for myself, that I, that I deserve? Or is this a conditioned response that I was taught over time that I'm just flinching in, in its experience right near here in the present moment? I hope this message makes sense. I hope that this resonates if it's meant to. Let me know down in the comments if it does. A heart sometimes is all that you have to say. And until then, I'll have more messages up for you on Bahati Life YouTube channel, so feel free to go ahead and check the links in the, in the description box for that. I'll see you later. Bye.